KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 28th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather warming up in the days ahead. A chance of strong storms on Saturday. More cold air for the latter part of next week. A very active pattern. So let's take a look. Here's the upper air view across the country. Big upper low over New England. That's rotating away from us, a dry air mass, and it feels a little better today. We started off the day in the upper teens and low 20s in most spots. Now, these are at 1 o'clock. We've got mostly 40s, Tuscaloosa 51, but most locations will be close to 50 before the day is over. Around the region, still pretty cold at Nashville. They had 36 degrees at 1 o'clock, and again, much of the east is cold, but temperatures will moderate for a brief time over the next few days. There's the watch warning map, pretty quiet day. Winter weather advisories and scattered pockets up north. Winter storm warnings for the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California. On the severe weather outlook, we jump to day three. This is Friday and Friday night. There's the standard slight risk of severe weather for much of Arkansas and some of the adjacent states. In Alabama, we have a marginal risk down into the southwestern counties of the state, as far north as Linden and Atmore and Bruton. And remember, this runs until 6 a.m. Saturday. Storms will be creeping into southwest Alabama Saturday morning. They could pack a punch. And beyond that, for now, the SPC guys do not have any part of the state in the day four outlook for Saturday. But that might change as we see new model data. We'll take a look at the latest here in a second. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. A lot of rain for California. And a lot of rain for the southeastern states. Alabama rain totals between two and three inches for the north. Mostly one to two inches for the south. In the tropics, the season wraps up Friday. And we're about done with it. Uh, no issues for the rest of the week. It's probably going to be next June before we see the next tropical storm. So let's jump to modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Uh, trough coming into California. Zonal flow here. Moisture increases. The winds veer to the south. Uh, the sky becomes mostly cloudy. And we'll mention a small chance of a shower tomorrow afternoon, mainly for the northwestern counties of the state, but most places dry. We start the day in the 30s, and most locations should be above freezing. The high in the upper 50s, maybe some spots touching 60. Friday will be a mostly cloudy day, fairly mild, and the chance of a few passing rain showers. Uh, the high Friday should be in the middle 60s. Better chance of showers over the northern half of the state. Big snows out west for the uh, mountains. Now, this is Saturday. A lot of things are happening, and here's the deal. We've got a deep surface low that's located northeast of Kansas City. And we're in the warm sector, so Saturday should be a mild day. The high, 67 to 70. Rain and thunderstorms are likely. Uh, some storms obviously could be strong in a configuration like that. Uh, it will not rain all day, but it will rain certainly at times during the day, and there certainly could be some strong storms. This is the low-level jet at noon Saturday. And the one thing we note, the stronger winds seem to be lifting kind of away from the state as the cold front approaches. And it seems to be a little out of phase. Uh, this is suggesting the low-level jet by noon will be over Georgia and eastern Tennessee. And uh, the wind's kind of veering into the west-southwest. And this is about 5,000 feet off the ground. But still, this is the crossover. And, and again, there's still a pretty decent amount of uh, veering of the wind with altitude. Uh, across the state. You can see the low-level winds out of the south, the mid-level winds out of the southwest to west. This is the instability, and, and again, uh, this is at noon Saturday, and uh, if this verifies, there's a fairly narrow tongue of unstable air, mainly on the western side of the state. And remember, the better dynamic support kind of lifting away here uh, to the northeast, away from the instability. However, the composite index, we all know, is the significant tornado parameter, the STP, is fairly high. Oh, this coming off the NAM, this is uh, Saturday at noon over the southwestern part of the state, that broad zone from Mobile up to Selma. And again, I'm not totally sure we'll have a big tornado threat. It depends on the timing. 
But again, if you got something planned outdoors, we can't tell you exactly when the rain's going to start or stop at this point. Uh, the rain could begin Saturday morning. We think the rain should end Saturday evening. But if you got something during the day, no doubt it could be wet and potentially stormy. Now, Sunday is your day. If you need to do something outdoors, that's the day you want to do it. We're in between waves, a very mild day. We could be in the low 70s on Sunday, the sky partly sunny. But Monday, the next wave comes in with rain moving back in. Monday looks mild, highs in the 60s, periods of rain. This is Monday night at midnight, a surface low north of the state. There could be some storms. That's not really a severe weather look. And then Tuesday, the system is on by. The rain will be ending early Tuesday morning. The day would be breezy and much colder. Temperatures could fall during the day Tuesday if this verifies. Then a week from today, much of the country will below average heights. And for us, a cold, dry air mass. And we might have a hard time getting out of the 40s Wednesday of next week. We'll jump out 10 days. This is Saturday, December 8th. Deep trough over Texas. And that looks pretty wet. Cool, wet, no severe weather if this verifies. Here are the numbers coming off the uh, GFS Ensemble. Highs well up in the 60s for the weekend. And again, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw low 70s on Sunday. But notice the cold air comes back. Highs drop in the 40s Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And I wouldn't be shocked if we saw lows in the 20s. And it looks like temperatures stay unseasonably cold on through mid-December. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. 